Haidam and Budan scheme residents in West Kanji staged a picketing exercise in front of the Region 6 RDC compound yesterday. Details in this report. Budan scheme need road? No! Budan scheme need road? No! Budan scheme need road? No! Haidam need road? No! Budan scheme need water? No! Budan scheme need electricity? No! Budan scheme need road? Haidam need road? No! Haidam need road? No! Haidam need road? No! Haidam and Budan scheme residents of Caracas Village West, Kanji Burbis, picketed the Region 6 RDC office yesterday, August 19, 2021. This exercise was done as a plea for better infrastructure and improved services for the residents. The residents of Budan scheme are calling on the officials in authority to repair their deplorable street. We need road in Budan scheme? No. We our residents paying our taxes and that the high dam and Budan scheme residents get a proper road because the condition is getting more and more bad every day and we need the chairman the reo the minister of public works to come and keep a meeting with us in the area and they can see for themselves that the area need proper road because cars are not coming in there because of the condition of the road. And I'm just asking somebody in the relevant authority or the public works to please look into this road. Because in case of emergency, the ambulance or nothing can get access to the road. The school are going to open, the children can't come out from the mud for go to school. So I'm just asking somebody to please look into the road. We are really suffering in Bodan scheme. Now persons tend to make everything political. This is not about politics. This is about our basic comfort. It's been deteriorating for a time and now it's hit rock bottom. So we're asking, we've been begging, we've been begging all the time. So now we're asking for someone in authority to look into this matter. To develop, we have to get proper road because a lot of people wanted to build inside the day but can't come into build because of the condition of the road is deteriorating every day. Every day. So I'm asking the um, Minister Agile, the situation, Mr. President, we ask you in Jesus' name to look into our situation. The residents of Haidam are also in need of a new street. The road that is the same, we're getting no worse. We get eligible people at the back, we get disability people at the back. Why you call a taxi if you go to the hospital, the taxi and come here? How is that person carry them out? Right? Number two, we need proper drainage, we need light, we need water, proper water. And the always promising me, promising me, promising them is not fulfilling them promise. So I need things to do at the back of the item. And I want, if the government could look into it, or who could look into it that it was done fast, very fast, because we fed up with this nonsense. Yes, and we're playing these people to manage our areas, our NDCs, and all over. And we got to come and literally beg, picket, and protest to get certain basic needs in our community. And this nonsense must stop. We're tired of being marginalized. This is the road, Bodan Scheme, and the Haidam. Both of them you can access no part of it properly. Because the people in Bodan Scheme willing to come in and build a house, they can't come in and build a house because every day the road deteriorates. And the Haidam is the same thing. As you could see, everybody out there protesting, Mr. President, the whole party just come in, see something for the Haidam people, and the Bodan Scheme people see me because it's one connection around. And I need good road at the back where I am living because where I am living, it's a slush to come out to the road. Number one, number one, we don't get no proper water there to uh, look after ourselves to come out a job. The resident continued to relate that she is encountering underlying health issues that bars her from being vaccinated. In my point of view, I cannot take the COVID injection because I'm a low pressure case. I am please begging for some support concerning this COVID thing till I get back to my job because I work at St. Aloysius and the said that oh, without I get this injection, I cannot work. The residents are appealing to the government for better roads and access to potable water, among other utilities. Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.